Okay, we held our nose and voted, and then hoped beyond hope you wouldn't be too embarrassing. Then, of course, you opened your mouth. We should have known that any man who'd pulled the birther thing was without character. We didn't think you could be any more petty, more lacking in class, or more careless with the truth. We were wrong. We would like to apologize to our good friends in Mexico and Canada. We'd like to say we're so sorry to the United Kingdom and France and Norway and Denmark and Latvia and, well, everyone. We would like to apologize for our Republican friends who must have their rose-colored glasses strapped so tightly to their heads that the blood to their brains has been cut off. There's a Russian under every rock, yet they see no rocks and no Russians. We didn't think it could get any worse. And then the Trump Tower meeting happened. We didn't think it could get any worse. And then Charlottesville We happened. didn't think it could get any worse. And then Stormy We happened. didn't think it could get any worse. And still you couldn't bring yourself to say a bad word about Putin. As the old saying goes, never trust a man who lies to a coal miner. That's not an old saying? Well, it should be. Here's the real question. Do you want your children or grandchildren to grow up to be like this man?